These are the headlines for today evening. Bitcoin trades below $17,000, Ether stays above $1,200. Ex-FTX lawyer tipped off US prosecutors on SBF fund abuse. Anemoka halves fundraising target for Web3 to $1 billion. Celsius earn assets belong to bankrupt crypto lender Drudge Rules. Mango market exploiter must stay detained pending trial court rules. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. After trading higher for two days, cryptocurrency markets began to dribble down after the release of FOMC meeting minutes from December, which stated that Fed officials expect higher interest rates to manage inflation. Bitcoin traded below the $17,000 mark. The Federal Open Market Committee's December meeting minutes, which were just made public, did not clearly depict what the vast majority of market participants were expecting. Fed officials noted that until the incoming data gave reason to believe that core inflation is heading southwards back down to 2%, a tight policy stance would need to be maintained. Ruchi Sharma joins us to tell us about how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.1% at 24,680 points. The Fed last year hiked its policy rate by 425 basis points from near zero to a 4.25% to 4.50% range, the highest since late 2007. Last month, it projected at least an additional 75 basis points of increases in borrowing costs by the end of 2023. The global crypto market capitalization is at $818.35 billion, a decrease of 0.1% over the last day. The total crypto market volume is at $31.4 billion and a decrease of 1.5% over the past 24 hours. After the calm end of 2022, Bitcoin stood quiet at the start of the new year at around $16,500. Bitcoin was trading at $16,830, down 0.1%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.2%, trading at $1,251. In 2022, Fed raised its policy rate by 425 basis points from near zero to a range of 4.25% to 4.5%, the highest since late 2007. Going forward, investors will review data on US non-farm payrolls, the unemployment rate and hourly wages set to be released on Friday. Market participants believe that since the report could have a big impact on the Fed's next move, it could impact the global market. US stock futures were flat as investors looked beyond the hawkishness of the Federal Reserve's meeting minutes released in the afternoon towards labor data coming later this week. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost just 11 points. S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 futures were both marginally lower as well. BNV was up 1% to trade at $256. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $11.9, higher 1.3%. Cardano's ATA token was up by 0.5% to trade at $0.26. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 2% at $0.073. Shiba Inu was trading up by 3%. However, Solana SOL was down 3.3% and was trading at $13.2. Polygon Matic was trading down by 0.2% to trade at $0.79. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.34, down by 1.7%. Polkadot was down by 1.2% to trade at $4.5. Thank you, Ruchi, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. Collapsed crypto exchange FTX's former top lawyer Daniel Friedberg shared his knowledge of founder Sam Bankman frieds use of customer funds with U.S. prosecutors. Friedberg joined a meeting on November 22 in the U.S. Uh, Attorney for the Southern District of New York office with Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Justice and Securities and Exchange Commission officials. 
In the meeting, Friedberg explained how FTX's sister trading firm Alameda Research worked. FBI agents reportedly contacted Friedberg a few days after the crypto exchange filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in November. He is not under criminal investigation and expects to be a witness in Bankman Fried's trial, which is scheduled for October. Animoca Brands has cut in half the amount it hopes to coral for a new Web3 and Metaverse investment fund. Yatsu, the Hong Kong-based company's chair, said in a Twitter Spaces interview that it is now looking to raise around $1 billion for Animoca Capital this quarter. Siu had told Nikkei as recently as November that Animoca would target $2 billion for the fund, which will make mid to late stage bets in the sector. The news comes with the crypto sector still reeling from the spectacular collapse of Sam Bankman Fried's FTX in November. Around a dozen of Animoca's portfolio startups were affected. A federal judge ruled that customers of Celsius's interest-bearing earned product had turned over control of their assets to the bankrupt crypto lender, meaning they are part of the company's bankruptcy estate. Judge Martin Glenn, the chief U.S. bankruptcy judge in the Southern District of New York, said in a court order Wednesday that Celsius's Terms of service made it clear it took possession of crypto assets deposited into its own product, dealing a blow to some customers hoping to recoup their funds from the company. Celsius held around $4.2 billion in various cryptocurrencies in its own product as of July 2022, with $23 million of that being in stablecoins. Glenn also wrote that Celsius had established a good business reason to permit the sale of about $18 million worth of stablecoins, a move that state regulators and the U.S. trustee's office had opposed. The proceeds from the sale of these stablecoins would fund Celsius's administrative costs for the next several months. Avraham Eisenberg, the perpetrator of a $110 million exploit on decentralized crypto exchange Mango Markets, must remain in jail pending trial, a Puerto Rico court has ruled, according to documents posted Wednesday. Bruce McGivern, a judge at the Puerto Rico District Court, cited family ties outside the U.S. and a potential lengthy period of incarceration if Eisenberg is convicted for commodities fraud and manipulation as reasons for the order. The document cites up to $40 million of appropriated cryptocurrency that remains unaccounted for together with Eisenberg's dual citizenship as reasons for detention, suggesting that he might again try to flee the US. Eisenberg's treatment contrasts with that of former FTX chief executive officer Sam Bankman fried who was just before Christmas released on $250 million bail after being charged with crimes including money laundering and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. And now let's go to Ruchi Sharma to get an update on the three buzzing stocks of the day. PancakeSwap recently released V2 allowing users to earn cake while also providing liquidity in the form of flexible and fixed term staking. Users of the largest DeFi network can now use the newly released Syrup pools in conjunction with, say, Aptos and earn staked APT in addition to PancakeSwap tokens as a result of the upgrade. PancakeSwap is currently available on Ethereum, BNB Chain and Aptos. When PancakeSwap V2 was released, some of the world's largest Bitcoin whales scooped up some tokens and invested heavily in the project. Cake was trading at $3.30, up 0.31% in the past 24 hours with a market capitalization of $5 million. AXS Investment, a leading asset manager providing access to alternative investments for growth, income and diversification, is today celebrating the one-year anniversary of the AXS Astoria Inflation Sensitive ETF. The PPI ETF arrives at the one-year mark with a number of accolades as it is currently ranked number one in its Morningstar category as the best-performing inflation-sensitive ETF on the market. Investors and industry watchers have taken notice of PPI's success as the fund crossed the $50 million asset mark in just over 50 days of live tra trading and was named ETF Newcomer of the Year at the annual ETF and Mutual Fund Industry Awards in mid-2022.
PPI is actively managed by Astoria Portfolio Advisors, experts in building and managing ETF portfolios for financial advisors. AXS was trading at $6.80, up 1.30% with a market capitalization of $6 million. Bonk, a Shiba Inu theme token that debuted on December 25th, has returned 2,220% to traders in the last week. With a 150% increase in the last 24 hours, the token was distributed to Solana NFT communities and creators via airdrop, resulting in rapid hype and trading volumes for the young token. However, early investors aren't the only ones who stand to benefit. Liquidity pools on Solana-based decentralized exchange like Orca have drawn over $20 million in volume for trading pairs involving Bonk, earning liquidity providers thousands of dollars in fees. The Bonk SOL pair has over $14 million in trading volume, while the Bonk USD coin pair has over $6.2 million, according to Orca data. Both pools pay out nearly 1% hourly to liquidity providers or more than 24% per day. Bonk was trading 179% up with a market capitalization of $2 million. Thank you, Ruchi. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more such updates, please like, share and subscribe to 3.0 TV.